everybody, welcome to my brand new Let's Play. This Let's Play is of Rock of Ages, made in 2011. This game is uh, a little arcade game that was, uh, made, uh, that was released on Steam back in 2011. And it's only worth $10, but it's a fun little uh, game which combines a bit of um, gameplay similar to Marble Madness. Combined with puzzles and tower defense in there. It's also pretty funny, it has a little tongue-in-cheek reference, uh, stuff inspired by Monty Python and stuff on there. And I thought I'll do a little Let's Play as I'm having my computer recover of the single-player game of Rock of Ages. Now, the multiplayer game is where most of the stuff, you know, it's the reason why I got this, I played this with a friend, and it's a lot of fun to play, and there's so many different things to choose from on there. A single player game is a story where you play Greek uh, Greek tragedy figure, I think his name is like Sisyphus. And this one is a bit of a different way of how he just he decides to escape from Hades and he's going through different time frames and using his boulder to destroy other play, uh, enemies gates and stuff. So let's get started with the story. Oops. I already finished um, the game all the way once, so I don't know how to release all of my stuff on there. Um, I just I want to let you guys know that the dig let's play hopefully will be coming back, will be finished once I could get excuse me the if I could get the hard drives recovered. If I can't, I'm going to have to de uh, fin uh, delete those let's plays and start all over again, and maybe with a better filming quality, but. Let's see, let's get started with tutorial one. I like how most of the characters are represented by the artwork of the time frame that they're from. Okay, I just used the normal movement keys to move the boulder around. And I could play a space bar to jump and I could destroy other buildings and little characters on the field. Like that. <laughs> Get acquainted with the sky view. See, this is their area that they work on. I mean, this is actually my area where I work on and I could place things here, but they don't give me that yet. Let's see, I could rotate, which I never really did. And uh, so if I push the middle button, it zooms all the way out and zooms all the way in and then like this. So let's go in. Finish this before you could destroy mine. Yeah. Destroy some things on the way down to earn gold. Yep. So. Right now we don't have anything, but that will soon change. Didn't destroy exactly now, so. <laughs> now I'll rotate back. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, they're building up defenses to stop my boulder. But now you have enough to get the iron banding, which gives it more damage uh, resistance. Some other sick opportunity to skip as well. Victory! Now, Sissy Fizz, um, I think was the, he was uh, part of Hades, and what he had to keep on doing was pushing boulders up to the top of this mountain, and once it gets to the top, it rolls down the other side. So he's like condemned to do that for his whole life, and I can't imagine how bad that is. But this, you can kind of see what the scope of it. It's, and if you watch Monty Python, you can see how much it's influenced by that with the animation style and artwork and stuff. And as you see through the cutscenes and stuff, it's a very tongue-in-cheek, kind of humorous game, but it's a lot of fun as well. And there's some strategy involved, especially when you're trying to prevent your enemy from going through. We're doing the second tutorial here. Trojan horse. Not anymore. Agamemnon. That is quick. <laughs> Agamemnon was the leader. The you know, was the Greek leader during the Trojan War. He's the leading forces. And we had to defend ourselves. But well, we... This is the now the tower defense game. You could... As you get more, you get more units, but... First of all, you have towers, cows, which they are going to turn into mammoths and stuff like that. They are actually... They just ram the ball so they can knock it off the cliff or else will damage it. The, these ones are just to design to slow it down, and then the catapults are designed to knock it off the cliffs, and also could destroy the ball as well. Oops. And then just place them at certain points where you think they'll be good. And they could do a lot of damage if they placed right. So let's get. Now let's see what's going on with his. Now we can't see what he's doing on there on his side, so we only could face it there. Now you see that transparent key there? They had these all over in there and they unlock certain boss battles and stuff, so you had to go back in some areas to get them all, but I got them all I think, but I will try to show you them if I remember where they're at. You want to destroy as many buildings as possible, just so that way you could get as much money as as you can. So that way you could uh, get de better defenses and also uh, boulder power-ups. Okay, first blood. Looks like my catapults didn't do much, but I could instantly change. I'm going to put some towers here. And I'll put some cows here. They will try to round the ball and just uh, try to destroy it. So, mm, I'll plant some more catapults as so here. Okay, and I'll get the iron banding this time just to use it. You only could use each power up one, so in later levels you'll probably want to plan them out um, strategically. There's the third key here. There's only like three keys, I think, every level, so 
these ones are pretty easy. Some of them you had to do some specific jumps and stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, as they get um, closer to the... Um, as their gate is down, down to past a certain point, I think it's like a third down or uh, three quarters, they start, the music starts to speed up, whether it's for me or them. I also like the look on their faces when they get to the point where they are starting to lose. I've yet to show you what happens when you fall off the cliff. Um, Oh, now my guy's worried, but I think I am in better condition than he is, so... I also like the music, they do some nice variations on classical pieces and stuff on there and as you probably heard from some areas and stuff keep saying stuff I like the girlish scream they give them when it's like that and then <laughs> all right now that's the tutorial levels I will end this let's play here and we'll start the next one at the um, place where the Spartans fought the Persians. Alright, bye.